Hey guys, Fry here. Welcome back, and we are finally continuing our Pikmin Let's Play. Uh, I feel like I haven't actually posted a video for this in quite a while, but just for a recap, we uh, managed to get, I believe it was, three parts in the Forest of Hope. And we increased the amount of Pikmin we have, which is always good. You need a lot of Pikmin, trust me. You guys are probably going to see a lot of uh, dead Pikmin. But uh, in today's episode, we are going to be going to the Forest Naval, which we haven't been to before. We just unlocked it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, uh, like I said, I haven't played in quite a while. Uh, I've been busy, but... Uh, I kind of have forgotten the controls a little bit because it's on an Xbox controller. Also, listen to that music. But uh, it's on an Xbox controller, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to quickly refresh myself. I think I remember, though. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. So what we're gonna do is... We are gonna bring out dirty yellow Pikmin and 50 red. Always want more red, usually. Red are probably the most useful Pikmin. If you whistle, they will come to you quicker. I'm gonna throw some of these on there so they can uh, sort that out. Well, I get a chunk of them to do that, and then we shall again do that so they can get that. That we're going to need bombs for. There are, like I said before, there are bombs pretty much everywhere. But for now, we're just going to use them to get this. Like before, I don't know if we did do the bridge. We probably did. But again, here's a bridge. <laughs> uh, there's also sticks there. Which we'll see what those are for in a minute. A lot of the stuff. Also, that's a, another form of a monster, I guess. It's not a monster. You just throw Pikmin at it and... That happens. It drops the liquid. Right. Uh, this is what the sticks do. So they, like, build it and then it goes up. Also, hang on. Is this... I believe... Keep throwing Pikmin on top of this dude. Oh, no. I could use with more Pikmin to do this. But if you keep doing that, eventually... He... loses. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Right, hang on. We'll see if we can get him by... Uh... <laughs> we'll grab more Pikmin. Come here, you guys. Right. See if we can do this. So, one, two, three. Come on. Oh, it's so tricky to aim, guys. You do not understand. Hey, we got one. Hey, I think this is a strat. Kind of keep him stuck in the corner. Eh. And now we've just got <laughs> Come on. Come back, buddies. Come on. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Got to be careful not to trap him in the water, by the way. Oh! Uh, what he does is he carries things, but you can get your Pikmin to kind of fight back, but also subdue him so you can chuck things on him. So we grab all these guys back. Some of them are not seeming to want to respond to the whistle. Yeah, we'll get two on it to make it even harder for him, and then we'll throw, we'll throw, come on, just die already. There is a quicker way to do this, uh, but it involves getting a part to do it. There we go. That's why I wanted to kill him. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. So that's what was inside him. So we're going to get our Pikmin to carry this back. Oh, yeah, if you click A on them, it brings them back. 
But yeah, we're going to get this item quite quickly, actually, which is really, really good. So, check them on there. And we're a quarter of the way through the day already, which, I don't know if you guys know, is a lot to be already through. Uh, here's all these Pikmin. So, we'll grab these guys. Come here, you. I know you're thirsty. Cool, you're a flower. <laughs> Come on. Come on! Ah. Yeah, we'll get some of these guys to drink up this goop. See? There we go. Ah, we didn't get that many, unfortunately. Oh well, oh well. So what we'll do now is... There we go. We've got a good chunk of them. And then... The rest of those ones. Ah, oh, there's one. It's cool, it's cool. Those guys are on the way. We'll grab you guys. Grab this. Also, I uh, I went bowling the other day for the first time in a very long time. And you know what? I was presently surprised, guys, because usually how bowling works for me... I don't know how it works for, <laughs> for everyone else. But how bowling usually goes for me is... Uh, I talk the finest of uh, crap. Like, I I tell people how I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna destroy them at bowling. And then what usually ends up happening is uh, I usually come dead last. Like, I'm not even exaggerating a, a little bit. I come, like, dead set last. Right, we're gonna also put those there. But yeah, I am buying, actually, I am by no means a good bowler, and I will explain more in a moment. Just to back up my claim. Uh, space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I have now recovered 6 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 6 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Right, we will actually... Eh. We can get through the little gaps there. Uh, we will grab these to do something now. But, um... Yeah, uh, the reason, and um, one of the proof... Ways I can prove I am really not a very good bowler... Is, uh... I played bowling... I went bowling when I was like... God knows. Let's, I think I was like 14, 15. And, uh... <laughs> oh... Um... Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to call all those. Uh, but when I was 14 or 15, I, I, I went bowling, and uh, <laughs> my friend's, like, little cousin came, I think she is. And, uh, so yeah, you can get them to go across there to get that. But uh, she was eight years old, and I am quite a competitive person. And I really wanted to win, and I was talking the finest of crap to all my friends about how I'm going to beat all of them, and all this, and all that. And, uh, <laughs> what ended up actually happening was, uh, I threw, I think, five or six gutter balls. <laughs> and, uh, this eight-year-old beat me twice. I came dead last every time. And I spoke the absolute finest of crap. And I was beaten by an eight-year-old. That, they keep falling. That is not good. So, yeah, I'm not good at bowling. There's, there's your clarification for why I'm not good at bowling. But somehow, I don't know if my friends are just bad at bowling, but I managed to come, I think, third and second, which I was like, what? How? Absolutely shook. Devastated that I didn't come uh, first. However, my motto is, as long as I get a strike, it's a win, you know? As long as, I, as, long as I've gotten a strike, I've done well. Also, let's uh, get these guys to support us. But yeah, as long as I get a strike, I've done relatively well. I'm chuffed. And I and I got, I think, two or one strikes. So, either way, it's good. Also, get them to build that up. Uh, and it was so much fun. I haven't been bowling in so long. And I didn't realise just how fun it was. Like, I'd forgotten. Oh. And yes, COVID restrictions. We were wearing masks. We all had COVID tests before anyone freaks out. We were... All COVID safe. We've all been jabbed. Uh, automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be alright. Great solution, Olimar. 
I have now recovered 7 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 5 more parts, I should be able to increase my ship capabilities. Yeah, we know about that now. Right, now that that's done, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to chuck all these guys in here. Also, I feel like we're missing some. Yes. Oh, well, some up here. Hey, guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, we're gonna chuck these in here, and you'll you'll see why in a minute. I'm sure you've probably seen what was by there, but it's time for the actual big reveal. So I hope you are all incredibly excited, because these are probably my favourite. But uh, yeah, let's just make sure all the Pikmin get inside. Oh, we are missing three. Ah, they're over there. All right, well, we'll quickly chuck them in because. This next part is just going to be all about this, so what, what we're about to do is what is going to be pretty much the, the rest of this episode. Uh, so, got to make sure all these guys are already away so I don't forget about them and cause them to, you know, perish. Because that, that wouldn't be nice, that would be really sad. They've done good work today, we've, we've obtained two parts and we're about to obtain something even better. Which is... As I'm sure you've guessed by the color, blue Pikmin. And as I'm sure you've guessed by the fact that it's in water, they are the only Pikmin that can breathe in water. They are my favorite, they were my favorite as a kid. I always had loads of blue Pikmin, but the reds are probably, you know, the, the best. Come on, Sprout. Right, let's, uh... Hey, they are so cute, guys. They have, like, little gills, I think. I don't know if you can see it. It is a Pikmin of yet another colour. Near this one's cheeks is what appear to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the wall without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Well, dude, what do you mean there's only one way to find out? We're in water. We found out. <laughs> is it just me? Like, what? Yeah, grab it, man. <laughs> you destroyed it, you should've... No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put him away. Yeah, you destroyed it, you should have grabbed it. Come on. But yeah, like I said, bowling was super fun. Also, the other night, I put on uh, the IT crowd. I don't know if anyone's ever seen it. It's a British TV show. If you're not from Britain, you might not have seen it. They did attempt to do a, uh, you know, a US version, but uh, just like with the in-betweeners, it, it was awful. And it uh, didn't get a... Uh, I don't think it got past the pilot, you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, if you don't know what the IT crowd is, it's essentially, like, three staff members have to, like, work together and in the IT department that's at the very basement of the important company, and they're not respected, and they're really nerdy, and they know all this stuff, and then the manager is a woman who knows nothing about computers. And various shenanigans ensue, Mark is hilarious. Uh, you would probably recognize him if you saw him. I can't remember his name exactly. David Duwadi, I think it is. I'm not sure. Uh, he plays Moss. You'd recognize him if you saw him. Uh, he's quite, quite, got quite an iconic face. Um, but yeah, I, I watched that again for like, probably the fucking... I watched that again for like the millionth time, probably. Obviously not the actually, actually a millionth, but... I have watched it a lot. Because it is so funny, I just... I'll put it on to go to bed and I find myself, like, still awake because I'm, I'm just watching the IT crowd. Also, now that we have multiple colour Pikmin, uh, these flowers will switch between the colours. And obviously, we wanted to get blues, but uh, we ended up with reds, which is... Yay! Uh, you can kind of time them, but it can be a little tricky. Ah, oh. oh, surely I thought that would have been it. Right, we've used all our blues to grab things. We just want to get as many blue pickles as possible because, as I'm sure you probably are aware, the, the ability to go in water is very, very useful. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff we need that will be in the water. Or we will need to cross water with Pikmin to do something. So, you know, it's always good to have plenty of... Plenty of reds and blues is what you... I, Ideally, one and a good few yellows, but the yellows aren't as impactful or as important as the as the blues are, unfortunately for them. But uh, hopefully, I swear there should be more of them on their way. But they are. They're probably going the long way around here. Also, those things over there, those things are horrible. They like shoot fire out their nose and 
fire Pikmin, you know, fire Pikmin. Red Pikmin are obviously fine with it because, you know, they're red. <laughs> they, they're immune to fire, so they don't really care, but the other Pikmin are oh, such a pain. There's also other enemies, they're like giant frogs and they jump and flatten your Pikmin. They can be a pain to uh, to kill. Also, there's another thing there, but we don't have time to get it at the minute. But we will probably get it next episode, along with maybe another part or two. I'm not 100% sure. But at the minute, we just gotta focus on getting these Pikmin. It's been quite a, a quick episode. Not quick, but I feel like it's gone very, very fast. Okay, I thought one of them had fallen down, and I was like, no. Yes, okay, we know, hurry up. Ah, oh, the episode's over already. I told you guys about my bowling experience. Uh, these episodes will be getting longer. Uh, trust me, the levels, as I'm sure you're about to see, get more complex. Maybe they won't get longer then, but, like, there'll be more done in them, or maybe even less done in them, actually, because it'll require a lot of time. So I might actually end up, um, like joining the days together, because at the minute I'm doing it, you know, each day is an episode, but maybe it's a good idea to uh, incorporate a day or two in one, maybe? I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'll see, I'll see, because I feel like at the minute, they're roughly about 18 to 25 minutes max. Uh, well, 15 minutes minimum to about 25 minutes max. I feel like 25 minutes is pushing it. Uh, and I feel like that's like a good length, so I don't want to like extend them because uh, these videos are good for just a quick, um, you know, if you've got like half an hour to kill, you know, you when people have half an hour to kill, they don't usually have exactly half an hour to kill. You know, they've got a half an hour to kill, but also got to get ready in that half an hour. And you know, 15 to 20 minutes is enough for you to be able to, you know, watch this before, I know, school, work, whatever it is you're doing, or even if you just miss a few it doesn't take you too long to catch up so yeah i suppose that's that's probably yeah so yeah i'm gonna keep them relatively short so they're not you know too long i don't want you to guys to be like oh just hurry up and finish also that's the, those are the frogs i'm talking about i hate those frogs they kill so many of my pikmin four days since impact deep in the cave i discovered in the forest i encountered blue pikmin these blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of, the, of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. So yeah, that's the uh, end of the day. We got two parts. I didn't expect to get two, to be honest with you. I expected to get one. Uh, it's usually that one up there, and then at some point you usually find that bug, but I... I I swear he doesn't normally pop up that early, but maybe he does and I just forgot, but yeah, and then next episode we'll probably be going back there and we will attempt to increase our blue Pikmin population and we will also get that item that we discovered. I don't know what else we'll do, but yeah. Anyway, that has been episode four. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter and share this with all your friends uh, and i'll see you guys next time peace